Hi guys. Um, just something short, just something small uh, to fill up a space on uh, Friday morning. Um, as you can see in front of me, I have two silver Fuji cameras. Uh, I'm not sure how good the light is. I'm actually in the van and it's going dark outside and I've got a nice little light that Mr. Roy built me for doing my um, night work. And obviously I've got the lights in the van. I could probably actually put on a bigger light to show you what's down here in front of me as well. So uh, that might be a bit better for you. All right, so um, yeah, what are we here to talk about? We're here to talk about this. As you all know, I use the X-T3. Uh, this is my go-to camera now. I sold all my Fuji camera. Uh, sorry, I sold all my Canon gear now. Um, I'm left with just the 70 to 200 uh, F2.8 Mark II. So if anyone's interested, give me a shout. And I've got some flash guns and some uh, cable triggers and stuff like that for it. So all my Canon gear is gone now. I'm now solely using Fuji, um, just because I enjoy using the Fuji. No other reason other than that. Um, I like the Fuji, I like it, it's, it's just nice. I just like it, just, just enjoy it. I know the quality is probably not as good as the Canon 5D Mark IV, but, sorry, excuse me. Um, but yeah, I just enjoy it. I've just recently bought this, so, the X-T4. Look at the beauty in that. You're probably asking yourself, why have I bought this? Uh, yes, right, so the reason I bought this is because I want to vlog with it. The idea is, I've got the flippy screen now, which is really nice. I can take the camera up, I can look at it, I can see myself vlogging, and I can vlog with it. Now the beauty with doing this is I can, whilst using the Peak Designs capture clip, I can clip it on my jack, on my, um, bag like you've seen before when I carry my little M50 around I can clip it on my bag and I've got a camera handy I can use all my other lenses so I can use the 2.8 lenses I can use my big 400 zoom lenses and zoom in and show you some video on that uh, the idea is just better video quality when I can I've still got the M50 I'm still going to be using the little Canon M50 it's going to get beaten and bashed and stuff like that like it does it's fallen over a few times this is more going this is more for single camera use when I can leave this one at home just take the one camera I can take stills with this I know the quality is the same as the X-T3 and I can also video it I can screen to look at the video quality is really good and I can clip it on my strap and I know it's good to go at all times. Built-in image stabilizer, flippy out screen, absolutely fantastic. There is a couple of things that I instantly dislike with it. Straight away out of the box. I've not actually used this camera yet. I've got it out of the box. Um, I've had it about a fortnight now. I've got it out of the box and uh, basically set up the camera similar to my X-T3 so that it is set up for button for button, like for like. I know where the buttons are, I know what they do, I know which each control does, and it just it's just easier to do. I can do it in the dark. So I tried setting this up. They've changed something on the back of the camera. On the back of the camera, they've changed. If I can flip it around, you probably can't see. Um, but on the back of the camera, you've got a Q button, which is here, uh, which brings up your quick menu. They've now changed the Q button up to there. Now that's a big issue for me, a very big issue, because I use this top, um, aperture lock button for my back button focusing. I press that and that's my focusing. I can't use that now for my focusing because they've moved that button down here, which means I've now got to reach down with my finger. It's not as easy to reach across, or should I say it's a slight, the next one across. It's not as easy to reach across and still hold the camera as it is to keep your thumb on the back of the camera there. So initially, that for me is a failure because I really did like it. Now you can um, reconfigure the buttons to work the other way around, um, but when you use the Q button then, it doesn't actually stay on, whereas the Q button stays on if you use the dedicated button. So for me, that was a really, really, a really nasty change. I don't know why they've done that. Obviously the reasons being is the reasons being, but for me, I use that as my back button focusing and I can't. So now my back button focusing is over this side. So I'm gonna get used to it but it's just, it's in a different place. Me OCD and all that, it just doesn't bode well. The second thing, and I bought this for the flippy screen, and this is going to be a problem. The flippy screen is one of these twist screens. So by its nature, I use an L bracket. I've used an L bracket on all my cameras for years and years and years. On the Fuji, it's absolutely fantastic. You can reach all your buttons inside. You can put all your cables in. You've got a nice slot there. This is a really, really well-made um, L bracket. It is 
by Phil Text or Fitest. Fitest. Uh, it's by Fitest. Um, I think I've got a link for the L bracket in my um, gear which is either in the descriptions or on my website. So the L bracket is absolutely fantastic. It's about 20 pounds, I think, 20 uh, British sterling. And um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be about it. It's absolutely fantastic. Flip it over to um, vertical, flip it back to horizontal, brilliant. The problem you've got with this is with the flip out screen on the X-T3, you can flip the screen out like so, and you can flip the screen out like so. This is brilliant. For when you want to look down on the camera, or when I've got my camera really high on the tripod, you can look down on it, which is an absolutely fantastic idea. So the screen flips down like so, or it flips up like so. All right, so this is really low, really high, very easy to use. Uh, problem is with this is when you're that way around and the tripod's above it, you can't see it. All right, so I know this is a bit of a rush. I know you're taking it all in really fast, um, but you've seen me using the camera, you see how I work. The flip out screen, how does this not work as well? Okay, number one, it's great. You can vlog with it. The screen's here, brilliant. You can see in front. But if I want to look down, I've now got to take the screen out and I've got to rotate it all the way around until it's facing down. And now it's sticking out the side of the camera. This is a big, 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 big problem. If I've got my camera up high and I want to look at the viewfinder, I can't use an L bracket, okay? I can't get an L bracket on there because it is on the L bracket side. Okay, so you cannot get an L bracket to fit on this and have this screen tilted down like so. Same is you can't have the tail feet screen tilted up either. Uh, you may just about get away with pulling it round and having it completely straight if you've got the right L bracket, but I don't think, I really don't think that idea is very good. Um, I'm not quite sure how you can improve it. I'm, I don't know. The flip out screen is fantastic because you can now use it for video um, and vlogging, but it doesn't work. It, it doesn't make it a very good stills camera um, at all. So the two major problems I found with the X-T4 straight away is that. Um, I haven't used it yet. The video button's on the top here, so you should be able to flick to video very, very fast. So it should be easy. Flick it over to video and bang, away you go. You can set up the camera for two different ways. You can set up, set up the camera for taking stills. When you flick it over to video, the video mode is set. You can set up all your camera for that. So all your settings, as soon as you flick back to, to um, camera mode, stills mode, all your settings are still in there. So you haven't got to keep changing it around. So for that, it's really good. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I haven't been out using it yet. I'm gonna probably take a few pictures with it tomorrow morning, um, unless we get a clear sky and I get some stars out later on. But yeah, love the camera, love the grip, love the feel, love everything else about it. And of course, I've got this new lens sitting on the front as well, 16 to 80, uh, built-in image stabilizer. Absolutely brilliant. It's gonna be brilliant for vlogging. It's a little bit bigger than the normal standard kit, but I've got 16 mil, which has given me a great depth there. Um, I can even turn it on and I can record for you just to show you what we're doing. Um, let's flick it on. Away we go. Let's hit the video mode and we'll hit record. Right, so we're using night um, on my F4 and you can see F16. I get a pretty good field of view and that's handheld, so it's not too bad. I know it's a little bit dark and come into the light for you as well. It's got eye tracking on it, face tracking on it. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty good. And then I can zoom in and I won't zoom in on my face, but I can zoom right on in and uh, focus on things a lot closer up. So I've got 80 mil to play with on there. So I'll be able to show you the, the scenery, I'll show you the mountains, show you the hills and show you the stuff as we go along. Right, I'm gonna turn you off. Okay, so that's the X-T4. That's what I switched on to say. I've got two cameras now, two Fujis, and uh, that's what I'm gonna be using. Um, hopefully you'll see this a lot more uh, as I start using it and start integrating it into the videos, um, but you're also gonna be behind the camera, so it's gonna be more for the one camera use. Um, I'm still gonna be vlogging with the M50, and the X-T3, taking stills from the X-T3 because this is really designed to take stills. This is really designed to do video. So just a little bit of a insight to what I've got, how I've got it and uh, where we are moving forward. So any questions, please ask. You got any hints and tips? Oh, one thing I will say about this. We all know and all us Fuji lovers hate the two second and 10 second timer. When you switch it on, as soon as it goes into standby, as soon as it goes to sleep, as soon as you turn it off, 
it's gone. When you switch it back on again, you've got to switch it back on again. That is an absolute no-no. Hate that, absolutely hate that. On the Canon, you switch it on, it'll stay on permanently until you turned it off. XT4, as far as I can see, is exactly the same. So they haven't upgraded it. Please, please, Fuji, put it in a firmware update. Please give us the two second timer permanently on when you want it on, not to keep coming on and going off. So yeah, that's me small rant over the XT4. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, maybe like and subscribe. Check out my Wednesday and my Sunday videos because as per normal, there's a car coming out of the road and it's blinding me. As per normal, I'll be uploading landscape videos and stuff like that, maybe a few tutorials. Um, but that's, that's, that's me, that's what I do. So yeah, thanks for looking at the XT4. So I'm gonna have a drop of coffee now. That's the XT4, the XT3, that's me going forward. Ciao for now, see you on the next one. Hello. Uh, I thought I'd have an early-ish morning. It's not really that early. It's sort of half six, seven o'clock in the morning. I thought I'd have a bit of a walk. Um, I've done a couple of little short videos from the van last night from parked way back yonder. And one of the things I mentioned was I got myself this new X-T4 for trying to do some video on and uh, having one camera and videoing and taking photographs and stills. Uh, well, I'm testing it out. You're seeing me on the X-T4. So I'd like to know what you think the quality's like, the sound's like, compared to my other videos. I've got no tripod in my hand. I've just got the camera, literally hand holding it. Wobbling it around a little bit. It takes a bit of getting used to. It's a little bit heavier, but I've got a big range of lens on there. So you've already seen by the B-roll leading in that I've been able to zoom in on things and get up close to things. I'm not gonna lie, this is a steep hill. As you can see, I've got a little way to go before I get to the top, uh, but it is steep and I've had a bit of a sweat on, but it's nice. It's morning, it's fresh, clouds are coming over now. There was no early morning sunrise or anything. I opened my eyes at four o'clock, had a look out the van, closed my eyes, went back to sleep. It was too clear. I thought, well, there's no point. I'll give it another half hour, have a look, see if there's any mist. There was no mist, so we just sort of chilled out really this morning. So yeah, we're in Langollen, Langollen. Uh, my first visit to Wales in over three months, due to the obvious reasons. I'm not the only person around, there's quite a few vans dotted and scattered around, a few photographers around as well. And uh, yeah, it's just nice being out and uh, enjoying, the, enjoying the day outdoors and just having a look again. There are, there are definitely a few things I'm not keen about the uh, Fuji. <laughs> yeah, I'm just changing subject. Look at the light coming out down there. Isn't that pretty? It's going to probably come across now and hit the side of the castle. So when it does, I'm gonna get a shot. Um, it's a bit chilly, I've just took my coat off, might put my coat back on again as I was walking up the hill. But here I am, uh, Castle Dinas, I think it is, Dinas Castel, Castel or something like that. Um, as we're in Wales, it's not quite as simple to pronounce. That little lovely splashes of light, look at the light coming across the hills, isn't that pretty? Um, yeah, I'm just trying to test out a dynamic range. I'm doing single shots on the photographs and uh, I've got the video set up to, I think, the best for what I want to try and do with it. Um, hopefully it's sharp, hopefully the sound's good. Um, and it is really just a test. This is a video just for testing this out, just so I've uh, got something to go with. I might not even publish it, so if you're not even seeing it, you go and have to comment. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, nice little location. I've been here before, um, quite a long time ago. Right on the top of a hill, very steep. But yeah, what a beautiful view. This would be fantastic in a cloud inversion. Apparently October's the time, so I'm coming back in October. Right, before that light hits this, 
I'm going to turn the video off and get on to uh, taking a few stills. So, I've got a few issues with this camera and I probably think a lot of people are going to have the same issues. When you're holding the camera in your left hand, your thumb catches the little button on the inside of the uh, grip, uh, just inside on the grip. Um, so consequently I keep knocking off the um, eye detection, which is a bit of a bugger. I suppose I can disable that function altogether. Um, and not use it. The other thing I've found I've got a problem with is the button on the top. When you switch it from uh, when you switch it from stills to movie, you tend to knock the camera off at the same time. So if I've got it on stills and the camera's off, I tend to keep knocking that button trying to reach it, and uh, that's not ideal. So yeah, I'm not impressed with that at all. And the other thing I've got a problem with is when I'm using my jack to have my microphone on, um, I've got to open this cover. Now, I've got to open this cover and jam that in the back there, but by opening this cover, that's probably not water sealed anymore. So that is not a very good idea. The jack used to be on this side, on the X-T3. Um, I know they put a bigger battery in it, but I don't honestly understand why they've actually moved that from that side. Um, that is a right pain in the butt. It could be on the front, be nice if it was just on the front in one of these little whatever this socket is there just plug it straight in there's no messing around but that that is a bit of a problem to me as well uh, I've just noticed another issue I've only had the camera out five minutes and I've already scratched it as you can see there there's some scratches already on it so that paints not very good I've scratched it already and there's not really done anything with it I literally carried it up a hill and that's it but still yeah I'm sure the dynamic range and all that's exactly the same as the X-T3. It's the same sensor, it's the same insides, um, by the fact we've now got a stabiliser in there. So yeah, all I'm doing, like again, I'm repeating myself again, just in case you've just switched on and flicked through. I'm only testing the X-T4 out for videoing and taking stills. Um, I'm up at uh, Dines Castel, Castle Dines. Um, that's pretty much all I'm doing. I'm going to take a couple more stills and I think I'm going to head back down and go and see the wife. So, my conclusion, uh, after taking a few photographs, yep, it's a Fuji camera. Uh, after doing some video on it, yep, it's a video camera and the image stabilizer feels pretty good. But, and this is a big but, I'm not sure I like it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's a lot of money not to like, but I'm so used to using my little M50, I can pick it up, switch it on, bang, 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 every time I know where the buttons are. 
<clears throat> with a Fuji it's going to take some getting used to. It is going to be handy when I do things like um, big hikes, you know, if I'm going to walk up something steep, I can just take the one camera. I know I've got a camera here, I can get some stills while I'm moving. But yeah, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I've got the functionality of video and stills. So it's not, it's not all loss. Um, wonder what that noise was then. Uh, it's not all loss, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of money not to be overly keen on. So yeah, there are a few things on it I really don't like. I don't like certain buttons and things where they are and how it works, but uh, yeah, and the, the on and off button and the video button is just too easy to knock. So anyway, conclusion is, like I say, I'm not sure whether I like it, but still, it's a new camera. It's gonna take a bit of getting used to. So anyway, thanks for watching this. It was just a quick review on the camera, a little bit of video. Let me know what you think about their photos and the video, just in general for quality. Um, nothing else, I know there are any snapshots. Until next time, ciao for now, see you later.